Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This is gonna be a quick one. Ruger American Generation 2. Y'all been blowing up my phone to get a bunch of data off this thing. We've been out here all day group testing, doing a whole bunch of stuff with this thing. This is the seven millimeter 08 Gen 2. Got my Banish 30 Gold on the end. That is a Silencer Central can. I got an Arkin EPL4 on top. Those are pretty sweet. We get 25% off those with the code hootie who, but the biggest complaint I've seen from you guys about these Gen 2s is the barrel length. Seven millimeter 08 is a 20 inch barrel. The generation one was a 22 inch. So I am kind of uh, agreeing with most of you guys saying we'd rather have a longer barrel. Me too. Even with the can on it, I would rather it have the long barrel, especially for hunting, especially for long range, you get the velocity. Velocity's king when we're catching deers. Velocity, more better. More velocity, more better. For long range, you're gonna get less drop, but uh, somebody smarter than me at Ruger said they wanted to make a bunch of them in 20 inch barrels, and that's what they made, and that's what I bought. But 139 grain or 140 grain is typically the sweet spot when it comes to deer catching boo lots for seven millimeter 08. Got 140 grain, Remington core locked out here today. And what does the box say? 2860 feet per second. And it doesn't say uh, what barrel length. Let me go ahead and put my ears in here. Um, but yeah, so the question is, how fast are these out of that 20 inch barrel? Well, if the Remington box is saying 2850 or what did it say, 2860, I'm gonna go ahead and guess, make sure I got this other camera going too. I'm gonna go ahead and guess with this 20 inch barrel somewhere around 2650 to 2700. But we're about to see, let me get this camera on the chronograph and we'll have the data. Got the cameras rolling. Like I said, this is gonna uh, tell us the speed of the 20 inch barrel out of these. And it's gonna give me a baseline for when I go to do my own loading for this seven millimeter 08. So let's, uh, well, that one was a bit hard to close. There we go. And I'm at like one to two yards here from the chronograph. Don't need 16 zoomies to get that through the chronograph. Here we go. Twenty-seven seventy, so uh, faster than I expected. And that's good news, right? That means we're not losing maybe as much velocity as people are saying we would. Twenty-seven seventy-seven. Twenty-eight twelve. Um, so um, that's not too bad, right? People were saying that it was going to be a lot slower than that. And that's a 2766. So let me uh, put up on the screen of the average right here. That's going to be something like 2785 or 2790 or something. But uh, there's the average. Now we know the speed out of this barrel with those 140s in this Remington factory load. I'm putting my brass over here. I'm saving all my brass so I can load it all. Uh, but to be quite honest, uh, not too shabby for seven millimeter 08 when the 140 grain averaging whatever it averaged. Uh, but yeah, now we know, now I got the data and I can have a, a baseline and some benchmarking for this rig um, when I go to do some loading for it. But hey guys, quick video. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed. We got tons more videos coming out on this and a whole lot more that I promise you, you don't want to miss, but quick video to answer you guys' question on the speed or velocity of that 20 inch barrel. And again, this is seven millimeter 08, 140 grain, pretty much the sweet spot for seven millimeter 08. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo.